I just bought the book Bushcraft by Morris Kahansky, and I decided that instead of just putting it on the shelf, I would read it and try to practice the skills inside. In order to motivate myself to do so, I'm starting a little outdoors book club on my channel. The purpose of these videos is to share information, uh, practice. I'm hoping to learn a lot in the process and hopefully you will too. One other thing, I'm not an expert. If I was an expert, I wouldn't need to buy a book. You'll get to see what an average guy from Iowa does trying to practice these skills. You don't have to be a superman to go outside. Welcome to episode 8. At least I think it's episode 8. Uh, in this episode I'm going to show two different uh, methods of suspending a pot over a fire. There's a lot of other stuff that's kind of covered in the book um, as far as different cooking methods and things like that. And hopefully I'll be able to show some of those over time, but there's two that I can show um, really easily. Got a little light snow today, nothing too major. Got some deer running back in here, that's always nice. Maybe you can see them. I don't know. Well, the first method I'm going to show of suspending a pot is real simple. It, it's uh, something you can just break down stuff to get. Uh, you don't have to go too crazy with a bunch of tools and stuff. And it's a tripod, and basically what you need is three sticks. This, this time I made it with two Ys, uh, and they're about shoulder height. And you just kind of space them out like you would a tripod. Make sure they're nice and seated. This works pretty well uh, when the ground is frozen like today, and you can't be pounding in stakes and things. Uh, and it also um, works well for uh, if you're in heavy snow, you can spread the weight out. And basically what I have here is a stick that I left a little hook on. And I've softened up the top. It'd be a lot easier to do this if this wasn't frozen, but it is. So, And then on top here, I'm just going to kind of tie it around. And that will help uh, suspend our our pot and uh, will help keep our sticks together. This goes on here like so. And then if, if you want to adjust the height you can just spread the legs out further, move them in, whatever you need to do. This next method is a little bit more complicated and it involves some monkey business but it's so elegant I just had to show it. This is the Burtonsville rig and supposedly uh, this was one that uh, Morris Kahansky picked up on Burtonsville Island. Now I could have that totally wrong. But basically how you do this one is you have your two um, forked sticks again like so and then you've got another stick that's about as head height. Uh, longer if you need it, shorter if you don't. And you basically want to get it set so that you've got a fixed point here that's uh, nice and stable and you just you just make some adjustments now I've got a fixed point and what you want to do is you want to flatten this out so that you've got a nice uh, basically horizontal surface when this is assembled you carve a little dimple in the top of this and it'll become uh, pretty apparent pretty quickly why I'm doing this. So I've got a nice little dimple there. You can see it. Now the next step is I've got a, a, a straight piece of wood here and I'm going to cut some notches in it. And you, you're basically wanting to carve an X but you want to angle the blade just a little tiny bit off center. Um, and, I, and I'll show you why here. Now we want to do the same thing this way, angling in just a little bit. So now what we've got is a little X carved here and there's a point there. And what you want to do is come back here and just chip out 
chip out a bit so that that point is nice and refined like that. So you can see my point here and you see my pivot there. The next thing to do is to carve more notches in this so that there are more adjustment points and then carve a little hook on the bottom. So here it is, I just carved a little notch in the end of this so I can pick up my pot and we'll just transfer it over. And that's the Burtonsville rig. Right there it'd be like on a warming mode. And if you just wanna adjust the temperature, you just lower it down. And it's, it's neat because it's kind of free floating. You can see it swinging there. And it'd take quite a bit to actually get that to come off of your fire. And easy to assemble. Once you get these notches carved, you're good to go. Again, do this before you build your fire.